This is SDR News and Geekazine.com's coverage of NAB, brought to you by HP. Hi, this is Andy McCaskey from SDR News. We're here in the HP booth uh, at uh, the NAB conference talking with uh, Tracy. And Tracy, you just finished a great presentation on a media management product, Virage Media Bin. That's correct. Virage Media Bin is a rich media management solution that provides the capability from a multi file format perspective. It's not just about video, about video, not just about images, it's about all types of digital content, allowing you to understand information within a PDF, within a video, within an audio file, within an image file. So any content that can come in from a digital perspective, MediaBin allows you to manage. Well, what was so interesting about the product to me was you, you uh, spoke and introduced the notion of uh, bringing in JPEG assets and extracting detail from the image, but then you show how that was extrapolated uh, into the video case. A little bit harder. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in an image perspective, you know, an image is just an image, and you there's nothing you can read. There's no text associated to like a JPEG. Uh, unlike something like an InDesign file or an Illustrator file, they have actual text associated with them. So. Video, the same kind of concepts, you can't understand the words that are being spoken. There's no written words unless they're characters on the screen. So well, how do you pull that information out? We actually do that watching and listening of those files. So those characters become information or text or inside in an index available then. Same thing with looking at a facial recognition, be able to identify a face and put a name to it. Now it can be automatically tagged without anybody having to type that information or having that or that value information not available. So a wide range of clients as far as numbers of objects. What are some some numbers here? A few thousand objects up to how large? Uh, we have clients with several million, up to seven, eight million assets themselves. And you have to think about it. it's not just about the asset, but it's also about the size of the assets. We're talking about terabytes upon terabytes of content because some are high res uh, video files, high res TIFF files. All of that information has to be managed in some way. Well, and which the underlying technology here in the HP booth, we have seen uh, from Erasmo, we have seen the uh, social media, uh, uh, being able to extract sentiment and so forth, all built on autonomy, and, and your product comes in there as well. Absolutely. So there's a history there about where the, how the products were built. Run, run through the names real quickly. This is uh, the, the genealogy. So the history of MediaBin, which is originally the name called MediaBin, is Virage MediaBin now, uh, comes back from, it was actually an acquisition of a company by Autonomy, Interwoven. So it was an Interwoven had a product by the name of MediaBin. It was acquired by Autonomy. Now, Autonomy also acquired a company by the name of Virage in 2004. So all, once we all came together in 2009, it then said, basically take this information and take one of our underlying technologies and it needs to be embedded in all of your products. So MediaBin is based on our idle technology, which is our meaning-based computing technology. It's another way of looking at the content in a very different way. So if from a search perspective, it's not looking at keywords, like I need to find the word airplane, that someone physically had to type it, but if you were if you searched on airplane and you got something back like um, a, a manufacturer of airplane, maybe Boeing came back. Well, it's because we start to understand that content. Idle gives us that ability to understand it and be able to relate those terms. Oh, Airplane, e Boeing manufactures airplanes, or Airbus manufactures airplanes, or thinking of looking at the different genres from a media perspective. We can start understanding that terminology. So that's the key thing that's underlying of all of our products. And to get the business advantage of being able to pull that up very, very quickly, make sure that information is current. Right, and that's, that's the key thing. Finding the content as quickly as possible, anything you can pull out of a file, whether it's color palettes, whether it's uh, characters, whether it's the natural language to text, all of that becomes searchable, indexable, and available to the consumer. So for you going on and doing a quick search, you're going to find what you're looking for because the system's doing the work for you and it's going to push that content. Now one thing I do want to say is that at, on top of all the content, MediaBin also provides that permissioning uh, and roles, which is really important because what you have access to may not be what you want me to have access to. And think of it from an external access point. So you want to make sure all those permissioning and all those roles are there also. Well, and you have the ability to, through uh, a wide variety of distribution channels that may or may not uh, have clearances associated with particular assets. Exactly, and it has that configurable capability to, to manage all of those different. Think of it as partner portals or dealers or working with external agencies. All of that can be managed in a very simple, configurable way within the system, knowing that the single source of truth is still the repository 
of all of that content with a federated search and the capability to find all that content. So wonderful tools, wonderful technology. Why HP? Well, the key difference is about really the fact that you can find the content in any way shape or form by being able to differentiate ourselves to find everything within an asset and be able to search on that. Tracy, where can people go to, to find more about your particular product for use in their production business? Well, I believe that you can find everything on hp.com and look for the autonomy product lines of Barrage Media Bin. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much. This is Andy McCaskey for SDR News here at uh, NAB.